We are with Richard Williams and Altendorf in IWF 2024, first day. Richard, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. We're, we're very busy and that's a good thing. Exactly. So, IWF Atlanta is all about opportunities, right? So, what are your thoughts about that? I think it, it's been a strange year for us so far, for sure, and it was very hard to gauge what we could expect at the show. We obviously have a very big booth. It's our biggest booth that, that we've ever done in, in, in America for Ondorf. And we've been quite happy with the pleaser, the, the turnout so far, quite pleased with it. So foot traffic is good, the opportunity is good. We've already sold some machines, so we're very, very happy with, with the way the show is going so far. So what is what exhibitors are expecting from you at this booth? Do you, what you are offering new? So obviously the machine we're stood in front of is our handguard machine. You know, we've taken safety technology to the next level with, with the handguard technology. So instead of using some of the other systems out there, which are, let's say, reactive systems, different systems where they're reacting almost like a seatbelt, yeah, we have a very proactive system. So it's a safety system that's never allowing an unsafe environment to even occur. So this is definitely one of the things that we're really bringing to the table to show people that's new and very innovative. And then also I think where, where people are starting to realize and pay attention is our edge banders. So the Ondorf edge banders, fairly new to the US market, but we've got really good traction on this. Very, very good edge banders, priced very competitively and people are starting to pay attention to it for sure. So this machine and edge banding machine you are exhibiting new here? Yes. Okay. Yes. How is the response so far? It's been good. I mean, like, like I say, I think the, the biggest challenge that we've had as Ottendorf Group America to this point is letting people know that we're here. Obviously, you know, we sold to a partner for many, many years where we weren't actually our own company in the US. So now we've been in the US for about four and a half years. Getting that coverage and that exposure out to people to let them know we are Ottendorf. You're talking directly to the factory, we're the people that you contact. We have 7,000 stores in the US market, right? We don't know where they all are. So the exposure for people to realize that we are the factory and we are here has been our biggest challenge and that's going really well. And now, like I say, introducing these new machines has been fantastic reception. Great. Uh, Richard, tell me more about your service in the US market. Sure, good, great question. And, and it, this is probably the biggest challenge for most European companies, right? So I'm glad you asked it because what we've done differently, I think, than, than most of our competition is we've really looked at the infrastructure and the service department as its own entity and made sure that it's right before we open that faucet. So we've been in the US for four years, four and a half years, but we haven't really pushed marketing and we haven't really pushed sales whilst we build that proper infrastructure. And now, about a year ago, we felt like, okay, we finally got the foundation there, so we've really turned the faucet on, and that's why people are seeing more Altendorf marketing, they're seeing a bigger booth at the show. So the way that we've done that, and, and it's always changing, right, but growing with the sales volume as we grow as a company, but we made sure that we have a minimum amount of technicians based on the revenue that we're doing. Once we hit a certain revenue threshold, we increase the number of technicians. We have a dynamic parts and inventory system that's always monitoring the amount that we've sold. So for example, what I mean by this, let's say there's a spare part for a machine that never breaks, which is great, Alton doors typically don't break, and it breaks for the first time. Of course, there's a risk we don't have this part in stock because we've never sold it before. The second that we have to sell one or we have to send one out to a customer to fix their machine, the system that we've built automatically creates a minimum stock level and it orders a minimum stock level in addition to that part that's needed. If somebody else orders that part a second time, now we've got two cases, so that minimum stock level's increased based on the amount that we sell. So from parts, fantastic, real good automated system to control stock levels, and the people is the most important part. We've got a good team here. You know, our response times are typically technician on site in an emergency case within 72 hours. We try for 48, and we're gonna keep pushing the boundaries as far as we can. Oh, great. So, in terms of users, you are launching your, or you have launched already My Altendorf Group application. So, great question again. So, the, the My, My Altendorf Group app is really the next step for us on a global level, not just in the US, but on a global level, to show our innovation and our, our genius behind the, the way that we interact with our customers. 
So right now we have a great ticketing system that, that's built into our platform where if somebody sends an email or they call, it automatically creates a ticket, it sends a response to them, we monitor this on a daily basis, measure the metrics. What we've done is we've developed this app, My Alton Door Group app, where it takes it to the next level. So the customer always in their hand on their cell phone has access to this app. They can request video consultations in real time, they can request chat consultations in real time. So instead of having to call, open a ticket and wait for a response, everything is going to be happening in real time. They can also order spare parts from here, so they can actually click on their machine, their machi the, the app will know which machine they've got based on the machine number. They can go into the spare parts diagram, it's very simple with pictures to identify the spare parts components so that they can order them directly from the app. They can, they can request you know, escalation for help from the service tech, from even if it's something simple like, hey, my email changed, yeah? So they can send up through the app, they can update that information, it will automatically update in our system. So it's really taking that, that level of communication to the next level and giving the customers access to us as a team at their fingertips. Great, I feel this will help the customer to understand the problem and for Altendorf to solve the problem easily. Sure, it's about connection, right? So it gives us a much more direct connection to the customer. Now, inside of the app, as we grow and as we have problems, there's also a knowledge base, right? So there's FAQs where they can search for their problem and it might be something simple, like they can't start, start their saw blades and they, they don't know what to check. So maybe they press the emergency stop button and they don't realize it. So they can search for saw won't start. And then there's also a knowledge base in there that says, you know, this is how you, these are the first steps to troubleshoot it before you talk to somebody. So it's really taking everything under one umbrella to take it to the next level for sure. Thank you, Richard, for talking to Wooden Panel USA. Hey, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Thank you.